Welcome back, boys. Here we are again, another year, fantasy baseball. You are uh, tuning in to the sty, um, and I have a, uh, a white wolf over there that's making some noise, so if you hear her, don't worry about it. Um, so basically what this episode is, is I'm about to go over all the team names that everyone submitted and uh, kind of give my insight on, on what we think about them. Coming in at number 10 is cruising right to first. Um, Kev, he gets last for obvious reasons. Um, you know, he must be busy in fire school, learning the best ways to save the different type of cats from a tree. So, uh, he just doesn't have enough time for us. But, uh, you better get your shit together, Andy. I mean, Kev. Number nine, running like a Dyson. Um, Caleb, what the fuck is this? Uh, first of all, your original team name was named after, uh, Evan Gaddis, and it was literally his... Uh, what, what, what is, what was it? His nickname, El Oso, El Oso, what, whatever. Anyway, um, now, now your nothing runs like a Dyson. Um, you know, you're trying to reference some kind of slogan, I assume, and um, I mean Google doesn't even recognizes it. So I, I really don't know what the fuck you're doing. Get good, kid. Number eight, Goldsmith, your pants, Dale. I see the attempt here. The issue that I have is that it doesn't like create any excitement or chuckles for me. Um, but leave it up to the Cali kid to uh, you know reference something that has to do with buttholes. Don't judge my story comes in at number seven. Um, that was Bruce. Um, Bruce, uh, honestly, I don't know what's edgier. This team name or the 16-year-old emo kid down the street that wears wristbands everywhere. Number six, teach me how to Duffy. Kurt. I consider this a strong step forward for you. Um, you know, you used to get team names like the Braves, and now you're actually referencing, um, you know, dances that America's has never even heard of. And I think we're changing you for the better. So thank you for that. It came in at number six. Number five was uh, grab them by the poo holes. Des, this is a great play on current events. I love it. My only disappointment was that, uh, you know, it's only one name, but that's really the only thing I have wrong with it. Um, but too bad Cat made it up anyway. Number four was uh, Piscotti Doesn't Cano. Um, I would rank myself first, but you bitches would cry about it. Um, so I guess your three-time champ will just settle with fourth by referencing one of the greatest movies of our childhood. Number three, Charlie Bit My Springer. Mr. Yachts. Short and sweet. Love it. Um, I'm sure Amanda knows all about that, being, being short. Um... What? But it made me laugh and used two names to perfection. I mean, well played, very solid. Could have been number two or number one. I just settled at number three because I don't like you. Um, number two, I cruise in my Monte Giancarlo. Lauren, a very strong name. I grabbed number two because it just isn't an obvious name. Um, you know, it took effort and a little bit of wit, and that's something that only a homeless looking man can come up with. So thank you for your submission. And number one, she Bregman for a Birdie Sanchez. Tim is going to take the top spot for it this year uh, for the team name. You know, the message comes off easy when you say it, and three names are used to make it happen. It's not something that you really have to search for to figure out the meaning. Um, you know, his, hi his height may be lacking, but his name is a packing. <laughs> You see what I did there? All right, boys. Well, that was the rundown of the top 10 names for this year. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And um, uh, until next time, pigs, stay filthy.